desires will come to you. Welcome back, Cindy Dole. You're listening to Home Wizards here every Saturday, 2 to 4, to help you enjoy those spaces you call home. And a lot of my friends uh, make going to Disneyland a, a regular annual thing. Maybe they go multiple times as a family, as uh, older kids, just to feel like a kid and share with kids. And, and now the Magic Kingdom, the happiest place on earth, uh, can be your home and your yard. How about that? Taking it literally to the level of, of on the par with the Imagineering genius, right? Well, Disney Parks has teamed up with HGTV to surprise families with these backyard makeovers. I mean, we're talking about bringing Tinkerbell and Mickey Mouse and the Pirates of the Caribbean to your landscape. Huh? How's that going to work? Well, with me is the host of the show and a very favorite and familiar face with the Disney Channel is Brandon Johnson. Thanks for being here, Brandon. Hey, Cindy. How are you? Hi. So, uh, everyone knows you from all different things. Um, I didn't realize that you were on, was it One Life to Live? Yes, I was. I actually played a couple characters on One Life to Live back in the day. I played uh, Dr. Michael McBain for a while, and then uh, I came back a couple years later as Chuck Wilson III. Ah, uh, okay. Yeah. <laughs> and, and, yep. and you seem to be pretty good friends with Hannah Montana. Yes, yeah. Miley and I go way back. Uh, got to do some guest stars on uh, Hannah Montana playing a character named Brian Winters, who was sort of a... Uh, a red carpet uh, self-consumed host, and he also uh, was the host of Singing with the Stars as well. So, uh, yeah, yeah, that's kind of where the whole Disney thing began. So we bring that up because it's kind of come full circle, and now enter Disney Park saying, you know, we think we got a show here in terms of making that, that you know, joy, that magic come to life in the backyard. Yeah, I mean, I think you, you just nailed it on the head there. It's it's all about bringing the magic to the backyard. We have, I am just so excited for the show, and it is such a blessing and a gift to be a part of it. You know, we have got, we have really teamed together with the Imagineers and with these deserving families to create in your backyard, literally, I call it uh, kind of a, a dream accelerator. Um, mm -hmm. Whatever you can imagine, we're going to build it. We're going to put it in there. We're going to draw from your experiences at Disneyland or Disney World or wherever it was, however Disney has come into your life. Mm -hmm. We're going to draw on those things, and, and we're going to make it come to fruition in your backyard, and uh, hopefully you'll create long-lasting memories for, really, generations to come. <laughs> you may not need to go to Disneyland. You have it right there in your yard. <laughs> That's exactly it. Yeah. Well, you know, you, you got to go. you got to go over now and then, yeah. i, I got to be honest, too. I just had... My very first Disneyland experience a couple of days ago, really. Really? Um, yeah. Um, I'm on the West Coast now, and um, Disneyland obviously is in Anaheim, and, and I live in, in Hollywood, but I grew up in Minnesota, and I never got a chance to, to go to Disneyland. And so uh, recently we brought in uh, two families from Ohio that were going to be redoing their, their yard next week, and uh, we met them at Disneyland and a lot of their influences stem from there. So um, I finally got my first experience at Disneyland and uh, met the families, and it's just going to be incredible. I'm so excited. <laughs> well, my favorite ride is the teacup. So I would, if I were yep. to come to you, I'd say, I want to have a little teacup experience in my yard. Would I, that be possible? I think we, yes, absolutely. I think we can make that happen for you, Cindy. As a matter of fact, maybe what you just said, you've manifested something because it possibly could. I'm not saying it will, but you'll have to tune in to see. Um, there could be a spinning teacup in someone's backyard. Oh my gosh! Very, very soon. <laughs> so, it sounds, yeah. sounds interesting, and, and I've seen the pictures. I mean, it really yeah. is larger than life. I mean, we're talking yep. about like a sorcerer's hat, you oh, know, yeah. that's there in the yard. And for some people, they might go, "That's a little goofy." But if you are of that spirit of of childhood memories and feeling like you're always a child, why not? Oh man, I'm still a child. Okay, you know? I'm, I'm I'm grown up, but uh, I never want to let that little kid inside me die. You know, I think that's a, you just. Just remain, uh, remain teachable. Remain open to various mm -hmm. experiences. You know, it just never, never stops evolving. And um, I think also, though, you know, you bring up a good point. It's like I've got an eight-foot sorcerer's hat in my yeah. backyard. You know, but the beauty of it all is we team together with the Imagineers, as I said, and we've got an incredible team aboard, and everything fits together synergistically. It really comes together with the landscape and these um, these amazing installations that we're putting in. You know, it really, it, it's very overwhelming at first, but it all comes together, and it's it's the perfect puzzle once it's complete. And Tinkerbell is, is I mean, you see Tinkerbell yeah. everywhere for grown-ups, especially women. I mean, it seems to be sure. kind of like this thing that's 
I like kind of like yeah. Barbie, you know, like this fantasy of your being a little True. girl, and 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 that's going to be one of the designs. Yeah, one of them we're we're going to be designing for uh, the the Bradburns, which is our very first episode. Um, you can actually see some of the pictures if you go to hgtv dot com slash my yard goes Disney. Okay. We've got some. Uh, pictures already from the Bradburn family um, that'll come up on June 6th at 8 p.m. You can you can see all the uh, the pictures of what we've done. There is a Tinker Bell inspired uh, swing that we're going to be putting in, and uh, for for Maddie and for everybody else, obviously. I, and I think that's the other thing too is it's absolutely all about the kids. But we also want to bring in a space that the families can enjoy, your friends can enjoy, your neighbors can enjoy, and, and pretty soon, I bet some of these families are going to be charging admission for that. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Or it'd be fun to see how they, they put the spooky on it for Halloween, too. You know, that could be yeah. kind of cute. Oh, totally. Yeah. Absolutely. You know, that's, you know fingers crossed, uh, right out of the gate, we're, we're, we're doing six episodes. we got about two left. We really, you know, it, we we got to judge the temperature, um, but I really... I really believe we got a winner here hopefully people will tune into the premiere on mm-hmm. june 6 8 o'clock uh eastern time on hgtv and you can really see where we're going to go with this it's going to go big and you know pretty soon who knows where we where we'll be designing and what we will be designing but um you know the imagination uh, can always run wild right we're up for it and i hear that the pirates of the caribbean theme is going to be one of the yards too absolutely we just finished up with the delaney family in orlando um, uh, we put in a 12-foot <laughs> pirate ship, um, complete with a gun turret as well. We've got a, um, an incredible 16-foot diameter splash area that's surrounded by water cannons. And these are real cannons that were, were refurbished, so you can spray water on them. So you can have a full-on, like, pirate attack extravaganza <laughs> going on in your backyard. Sails, pirate flags. Um, we've got uh, wine. We took old wine barrels and we cut them out. We transformed them into furniture, so you can sit and put in all sorts of um, entertainment things for the for the family, so the parents can kick back and watch and be sure that the kids are playing safe too. So, what are the, some of the families like that um, have gotten involved in this, and how did they get involved? Good question, as far as how the whole selection process goes, yeah. because that I didn't get to um, I didn't get to participate in, unfortunately, but. Um, the families that I have met thus far uh, are just unbelievable. They, um, you know, we, we, we met the Bradburns, we met the Parkers. Parkers are a little extra special for me, and you'll see them on the second episode. The Parker family, Brandy and John, adopted six kids from Ethiopia. And uh, you're just going to get, I mean, I, I saw a rough cut recently of it. and You're going to uh, make us cry is what you're saying, right? Guaranteed. Guaranteed. <laughs> okay. I mean, I, and, and when you know, like when you're there and you see it all happening, and the families, every, you know, everybody's crying. But for a family to, it's one thing to to give a backyard like that to your to your kids, mm-hmm. and, um, and and you know, even you know, adopting kids in the United States. But to bring these kids over and to give them this new opportunity, um, and not only that, but I mean, we real they love the Animal Kingdom uh, at Walt Disney World, so we put in like a 46 foot safari-inspired playset with thatched roofs. Wood is authentic from Ghana and from, from, from Vietnam. Incredible water features. That is going to blow your mind. I mean, these families, they come from a very beautiful, pure place. And um, again, I, I think that some of these people just manifested these blessings into their backyard. Well, I can just think of so many show ideas. I mean, I want to see the Tomorrowland. I want to see that something from the space ride. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Space Mountain. That would be super, super cool. And the submarine. What's that? The submarine ride. I know. You know what? I, I went on that, too. And they, they it was the 20,000 20, Leagues Under the Sea ride, and now they transformed it into Finding Nemo ride. Yeah, right. You know? And um, and that was a hoot, man. That was really, really cool. So, I mean, the, the, we're going to be putting in uh, Princess Dot Puddle Park uh, from... Um, from Disney California Adventureland. Um, that's going to be coming up down the line. So some really fun water features going in, not just fountains, but various things springing out of the ground. And, boy, it's it's going to be a treat for these families. And so I guess that uh, there's also going to be um, an opportunity for, for some folks to get to talk to a Disney horticulturalist and uh, an Imagineer expert to find out how we can bring some of this Disney magic to our own homes, our own homes, that's, right? Yeah, yeah we've, again, we've, we've, we've got an amazing team uh, aboard. Board. And um, there, there's so many different ways that we, one of the things that we have to do is some of these installations are big, yeah. you know, 17 feet 
tall lighthouses. Um, so you, you, you get into, you know, zoning laws and, and sight lines and easement issues and stuff like that with your neighbors. So by doing that, we'll bring in sometimes uh, 25-foot queen palm, uh, queen palm trees. We'll bring in some Chinese fan palm trees. We'll bring in um, all different types of uh, magnolias and stuff like that to not only uh, keep the space private, but also respect your neighbors so that you yeah. know, they don't see everything that's going on to you. Good. So various ways to... Um, to, uh, to, to make your space your space. And to be authentic. So that's cool. Absolutely. Tell everybody again, the website, if you go to, to HGTV, it's uh, it's what? To see these pictures because they're great. Yeah. It looks like it's what? Yeah, make My there's, Yard. There's, there's, eight, there's eight or nine pictures up. Yeah. Go to HGTV.com slash My Yard Goes Disney. Okay. And uh, again, please tune in to HGTV Monday, June 6th, okay. 8 p.m. Eastern. Sounds and, like fun. Uh, get ready to be blown away. All right. Thank you, Brandon Johnson. Good luck, and we'll, we'll talk to you again. You got it? Thank you so much. All right. Up next, we're going to talk about uh, shopping for grills. Would you buy a grill called a Margaritaville? <laughs> you might. Consumer Reports is next to help us with the do's and don'ts and getting that grill on. Cindy Dole, Home Wizards, and the fun continues after this.